Please, Kamina, don't do this. Take him to the brig. How long until the pirates are back in range? Hour, maybe two, depending on burn. Same as last time. The time before that? And the tin time before that. How are you doing? I'm not the one we need to worry about. Her body can't heal under this burn. Even Khan needs to rest sometime. You'll figure something out. I know you will. Motherfuckers! Shouldn't be possible! ETA, eight minutes! They must have increased their burn this time. <sighs> Don't these Pashangwalas rest? Humans rest. Pirates? Fucking animals. We need to do something about your arm. Virgil has the med bay prepped and ready. It's fine. Hardly hurts anymore. We're outgunned and nearly out of fuel. Unless we come up with a plan to shake them soon, infection's gonna be the least of my problems. What do you think Cox would do? Hell should I know. You want to ask him yourself? No. Cox went with his gut. For better and worse. That's what a captain does. But maybe you're no fucking captain. Captain. Coordinates, 8214. What are we looking at? Fuck if I know. It's a ship's graveyard. Debris field. Caught in orbit around that body. There's nothing registered there. How do you know? Back when I was MCRN, there were reports of a proxy battle right around here with UNN forces. Never confirmed, but seemed legit. Or much more likely, it's some solar backscatter, radiation cluttering, or any other fucking thing. How large was this battle? Large enough for a pissant ensign like me to hear about it. I'd guess nearly a dozen ships. New plan! We run for cover, in there. Won't work, boss man. If we, if we break their lock, they'll be able to track our drive plume. There won't be a drive plume. We burn hard for here first, then cut engine and turn into orbit. Let it carry us around until we land in the debris. Slingshot, fuck yes! Could work, if there is actually something there. Stations! Con! On my word, loose a PDC volley, then turn and burn.
five G, six G, turning now. <sighs> in the debris field. It's shit pirates! You did it, Barsmang! Fucking legend! Quiet! We don't have much time. The pirates are searching for us, and we can't run again without more fuel and reaction mass. Arlen? Baratna and I will head out and start scanning. Captain, I'm prepped for surgery as soon as Khan is ready. <sighs> Tell that waste of oxygen. I wouldn't be needing surgery if he didn't freak out the first time. I'm still here. Virgil won't let you down. He handled Rayan's surgery just fine. The prosthetic is ready. Is the, uh, patient? Fine. But you're staying to make sure Dr. Dipshit doesn't cut off the wrong arm. I'm picking up any signs of fuel. Keep looking. Meantime, I'll go for their reaction mass. What a mess. What got Earth and Mars so worked up? And what's a Belta ship doing in the middle of it? Who knows? Hopefully they all got some reaction mass on board though. Last doors to the Laguin are locked down. Not sure if there's a way to open them. Always a way through. If you got enough explosives. Go check out the other ships. I'll see what I can rig up. You want to use explosives to blast through a blast door. Guess that could work. ship is which is all blasted to Falota. There's definitely more scrap here than a few ships can account for. Maya was right. 
This was a full-on proxy battle. With a belter ship at the center. Were they planning for an interrogation? Then why'd they start shooting? Hmm. The Martian ship had focus drugs on board. Must have wanted to question someone. I hate those things. Rayon and I got busted by the MCR in once. Didn't think I'd leave that interrogation room alive. Watching that Martian's eyes go all weird. Last time we ever stole anything on Vesta. Had to move to Ceres and start stealing there. Might be able to rewire this guidance system to work with our ammo. It was good enough for Earth and Mars to tear each other apart. And neither side surrendered, even after taking heavy fire. Stupid Inyas, they never know when to quit. I don't want to interrupt, but how is everything down there? The auto dock kept us on track, but Virgil had to do some of the larger incisions himself. Khan will be out for a while. When she wakes up, we'll try to attach the prosthetic and. What the? Oye, oh, yeah. Maya. Shit. Maya is always complaining about the tools in the engineering bay. Maybe an MCRM model would cheer her up. Yeah, Cap. Cheer up the Martian girl with your tool. Pashang Fong. Found some reaction mass. Toss it to me. I will store it. <sighs> nice toss, Cap. Bossman, you probably noticed me Baratna has been a little edgy lately. Ray, your brother has been an angry Pasheng Wallow since my first day on board. This is different. He's... he's got the shakes. It's the pixie dust. But he's been clean for almost a year! He takes some meds that help keep him straight, but... But we haven't done a supply run in weeks. Yeah, ran out of toxiperidone three days ago. Don't worry, boss man. He'll be fine. He's tough. But, thought you should know.
Ugh. And Inya say that Belta food is disgusting. Maya seemed willing to help with Khan's surgery. Hope she doesn't regret that now. Maya? Status report? Fire the torpedo! Give those sons of bitches a welcome, or I'll throw you in the brig! Sit down, or I'll cut off the other arm! Sorry, Cap, what was that? Is that Khan? Why is she so angry? Something about bogeys on the radar? She's a little woozy from anesthesia. I hope she passes out again. I'm gonna draw on her face. Got a barrel here. I'll take her. Good work, Sasata. Boss Mang, I got everything hooked up to blow the door. Head back to the Laguin and check it out. Got it. Hopefully we'll find enough reaction mass to get out of here. And then what? We going treasure hunting? Yeah. You think those coordinates go anywhere interesting? We've been on the run for a week because somebody thinks so. Think so with a lot of torpedoes and guns, even. These boots might fit Khan. Once I get the feet out of them. Oh. Yeah, feet are a good sign. Means they work. Explosives are set. Good work, Kamina. Now let the whole station see what happens to traitors who sell out the OPA to the Inyas. I'm in. Hmm, another blast door. Pshing. Fine, I'll get more explosives. No need. I should be able to access the lockdown controls from the bridge. Good thinking, Cap. Could still find more explosives. Just in case. If there's one thing all belters can agree on, it's that the moldy belters kick ass. I should check on Maya. Is everything, um... Okay, she just said we've been boarded. And now she's wandering around looking for intruders. So, everything's fine. Maya, this is Khan we're talking about. No one knows what she's capable of. You need to hide. 
First of all, fuck you. Second of all, she's gonna hurt herself if she... Wait. Hey there! Do you wanna lie down for a minute? Do you wanna fucking die?! Oh no. Looks like the crew tried to record a message. This message is to all Erda and Martian security forces in the area. We have received your warnings and demands, and this will be our only response. The MCRN says we have stolen their property. The UNN says we are traveling illegally in their sector. We recognize neither of your claims over us. This is our belt. Torpedoes, away! Incoming! Stand down now and let us keep our course. We will either join our OPA Baratnas on Titania, or sacrifice ourselves to your destruction. There is no other option. Beltalada! Who here is prepared to die for your belt? Beltalada! 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 You hear that? Wouldn't surrender the tech, and set their message in the only way the Inners understand. What was the message? That the Inners are the real thieves here. They take from us every day, and they'll keep doing it if we keep letting them. Brave, Koyos. Wouldn't let anyone get their hands on that tech. Good for them. They were heading toward Titania to link up with the Belta sector. Almost made it. After I wiped the floor with doors one time, he declared that Gogo -Go was frivolous and banned OPA from play. <laughs> Typical. I'll need to make a hole to pass this to the twins. Found another barrel. This is loaded, or oh, whatever the Inyas say. <laughs> Touchdown! Woo! We've got some radiation from a nearby ship, the Manitoba. Scanner shows the engine is mostly intact. Maybe a few pellets too. Boss man, that's the far edge of the debris field. You'll be exposed. You two head back to the Artemis. Everyone stays on the ship, but be ready to pick me up on my order.
Captain, we're picking up a communication from the Europa's Bane. Sabaka, they locked us? No, it's a broadcast. But they must know we're close. Patch it over. There is no sense in running anymore. You know who I am, and I am looking forward to meeting you. Contact me to discuss the terms of your surrender. Or just sit and wait until we find you. It's only a matter of time. Shit, shit, shit. Cap, you got to get back here. Not without fuel pellets. Stupid drone is stuck. I doubt they will all be so easy to kill. Virgil, if I respond, will they be able to chase the signal? No, it will only confirm you are in broadcast range. But they seem pretty sure of that already. Put me through. Captain Zapata, this is Kamina Drummer of the Artemis. I don't want to fight you, but keep sending your crew after me, and I'll be forced to keep killing them. You're a long way from Siri Station, Kamina Drama. You've heard of me? I've heard of your work and your bounty. But if I'm speaking to you, what happened to Garrison Cox? He attempted to double his profits. As a result, I am now captain. Not surprising. There's no loyalty among scavengers. Not that the OPA is any better. You must really enjoy the company of miscreants. I saw your handiwork on the Urshanabi. At least my crew are not murderers. Don't tell me Kamina Drama weeps for the lives of UNN soldiers. You don't fight for the belt. You only care about yourself. And apparently the UNN has barely touched you. So what was their crime? Foolishness. And the opportunity to send a message. One you would do well to receive. You're out of your element and your depths, Captain. No shame in surrendering a battle you didn't ask for.
You can always retreat, Toussaint. Protect the rest of your crew. Your reputation is well earned, Captain Drummer. Daniel and Yuri were, they were two of my best. But their needless deaths do not change. Enough. I've had a very long week in a crash couch because of you. Either fall back or keep sending your men to die. Those are your options. Please tell me this thing has ammo. I'm on my way. No! Everyone stay back! What's happening? Why are the pirates pulling away? There are always more options, Captain. I'll have the coordinates. Even if I have to comb through rubble to find them. Goodbye. You're bluffing. Hello? Toussaint! Come on. Gotta be some ammo left. PDC delivery. Sabaka. I told you to stay on the ship. Reprimand me later. Just let me do my jo job now. I don't know what the fuck you two are doing, but I'm approaching your location on control thrusters for whenever we shove off. Glad you're back at your post. What are you waiting for? We only get one shot before they know our position. There!
I believe celebrations are in order. Coordinates are set for the MK core. Time to see what all the fucking fuss is about. With the fuel you found, we should have no problem getting there and back to Ganymede at least. And how is the new prosthetic? It'll do. Get some rest, Captain. No telling what we'll find at those coordinates. I've never had anything resembling a civil conversation with Khan before. But I've also never had a cigar to ply her with. Hey, Khan. Resting. Go away. Can you believe how vicious these pirates are? Yes. I mean, how they were willing to blow us up just to prove a point. Yes. So you don't think there's anything special about them? Yes, I do. They seem to have more guns. I found this cigar on the Urshanabi. Thought you might want it. But I could always give it to the twins. Don't you dare give it to those two morons. They'd use it as a butt plug or something. First taste, you earned it. <sighs> oh, Pashag, <clears throat> it tastes like burnt kibble. That's your unrefined palate. You need to smoke more to burn away all the taste buds. <coughs> My husband, Bao, used to hate when I smoked. Said it was 40 minutes of pleasure for three hours of cleaning out the air vents. He wasn't wrong. What happened to him? The Pinafore, a small transport skiff owned by Trackman. I was pilot, Bao was chief mechanic. Boring work. Little outside contact. Exactly what we wanted. There'd been reports of pirates along our heading. The usual shit. We weren't worried because... What's the point? And besides, we had our protocol. Protocol? A maneuver we practiced. 
case of hostile boarding, I'd feign submission, hands behind my head. And when Bao thought the moment was just right, he'd say the code word and hit the deck, and then... Modified SMG with heat targeting rounds. I could draw and fire the clip in five seconds, easily take out an entire raiding party. That is actually a solid tactical maneuver. Pyrus wouldn't expect a weapon there and Bao would be safe on the floor. I know. So what happened? The pirates came for us like we feared. They boarded the pinafore. I drew them in, got them occupied, and at the right moment Bao said the word. I froze. I'd never fired live rounds in battle before, and I suddenly doubted myself. What if the clip was jammed? Would it even fire? Maybe these pirates weren't so bad. It was just a moment, but it was enough time for an antsy pirate fuck to grab me and shoot my bow. I'm so sorry, Khan. It sounds like you two really cared about each other. That's the thing. We did. It's so easy to stop caring out here. Don't you want to know the code word? Artemis. I'd never heard of her. It was Bao who read all the Greek bullshit. Apparently, she and I shared a few things in common. Your ungodly beauty? Fuck you. <laughs> Mostly, he said it was because... I never missed my shot. Tell you what, if I ever get the chance, you bet your ass I won't flinch again. Any guesses on our destination? Nada. All I know is that it's far the fuck out there. So whoever hid that treasure, wanted it far the fuck away. It's good talking with you, Khan. Yeah, yeah. It's been a rough week. I should check in with the crew and see how everyone's doing. What are you listening to? It's Martian music. You wouldn't like it. It's a beautiful song.
My mom used to play it for us on the guitar. Half the time she'd break down crying and not even finish it. It reminded her of my dad. It's funny. I hate my dad. I hate the army he died for. And I hate Mars. But I still miss it. What you did in the debris field was incredibly reckless. You disobeyed my order, and you put the whole- Oh my god. You're fucking welcome. I was getting to that. Thank you. Anytime. Khan seemed pleased with her prosthetic. Particularly the extra feature you included. That's good. Although you realize we just took the most unhinged person on the ship and gave her a bionic skull crusher for an arm. I think if Khan wanted to kill someone, she could do it without arms or legs. I'll leave you to it then. Wait. Um. About that moment in the airlock. Yes. Are you feeling any better? I know you were pretty scared given how tightly you were holding my hand. I'm pretty sure you grabbed my hand in there. Oh, sure. We can go with that if you want. I'm just saying, I'm here if you need to talk. The only thing we need to talk about is your delusion of fantasizing about me. I get it. It must be hard for the boss Meng to express her feelings. <laughs> Especially to the hot Martian engineer who can totally kick your ass. Not according to that scoreboard. My point is, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Hmm. Even if you did clink helmets with me. Clink helmets? What is that supposed to mean? I think you know exactly what it means. Helmet clinker. Typical dumb Martian. You try to kiss a woman, but forget to take your helmet off first. If I did try to kiss you, there'd be no fucking confusion about it. You know, we could stand here talking about hands and helmets all night. Or we could go back to my room and... Settle it. I settle it. Are you talking about sex? Only one way to find out. Falota. Maya's the one who stole Khan's barbecue sauce. That is... Not at all surprising, actually. Honestly, I'm glad Maya finally got one. This was starting to get sad. Saving this containment vault was an awful call to have to make. But without the fuel, ammo, and oxygen it contains, we could end up losing a lot more than just a leg.
Whoever took Khan's barbecue sauce is a lot braver or stupider than I am. Whatever Cox was saying about Virgil's past clearly upset him. I need to know what it was about. What's on your mind, Captain? Cox said you were hiding something. Something that Belters wouldn't like. Cox is a habitual liar. First, he tried to murder you. Then he tried to deflect blame onto me. So there's nothing else you wish to share? Nothing you're hiding? No, Captain. No more than anyone else on this ship. Get some rest, Virgil. Will do, Captain. If I sleep with Maya, the entire crew will know about it. Nothing stays secret on a ship like this. Is one night worth all the drama? Sorry, Maya. Go to sleep, Captain. Pashang. Are you watching me? No. Now sleep. Nothing on the map. No record of any settlements. So what the fuck is that? <laughs> 